I'm really not supposed to be coughing. They said it's bad for me. <laughs> kind of sucks, really. So, <clears throat> but we're going to make the most of this and uh, a good outlook. So, you know, okay, give me a second. 2019 was rough. We all know 2000 or 2020 is bad, but I had to replace this next part only because the original was so labored you couldn't understand anything I was saying. So I took some medicine so I can kind of get through this real quick. I just want to give you an idea of the things that kind of led up to everything going on as far as just 2019 being a rough year um, leading up to this now. Um, we had two pipes, two water pipes breaking the house. Um, one was earlier in the year, so uh, by the time it was discovered on the second one, the floor had rotted in the kitchen. So we had tear up all the subfloor, we had tear up all the kitchen. Um, so we were down a kitchen. Uh, the camper in the garage caught fire. Um, the in-ground pool, the liner had pulled away, so we needed that replaced. Uh, the roof needed replaced. We had replaced the siding. The car broke down three times. Um, radiator, heating core, and then uh, the heads. The truck broke down. Um, that was radiator the water pump, the sway bar, uh, the wheel bearings, and then recently we were about two and a half hours away from the house and the gas tank, one of the bands broke off, the gas tank was hanging on the ground. Um, the daughter's car had issues. Uh, we recently, um, all the plumbing in the house needed replaced from top to bottom. Uh, I might do that just for insurance purposes. Anything else kept happening that we wouldn't have insurance anymore. Uh, the dog died. Uh, the wife, she went in the hospital. She was hospitalized in July 2019. She had to uh, get a pacemaker. She was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. She high blood pressure and then she had spinal stenosis from C4 through C7. So they do spinal surgery on her right at the beginning of this year. Um, so yeah, so it's, there was a lot that led up into this. Uh, and that was all in 2019. So then 2020 hit, it, then COVID and uh, uh, and then I was diagnosed with stage four lung cancer. It's inoperable. It has metastasized. It is there. There's some spots behind my lung as well. I apologize, but I'm wrong with this. Um, I, I wish I was. I wish I was right, um, honestly. But uh, when you first told that you have cancer, it's, it's it's a lot to take in. I mean, you can obviously assume things get blurred. Uh, I'm now taking a notebook with me just to re-ask questions so I can write them down. So I can make sure I have the right answer because the things I remember that they told me, I'm uh, just kind of in a daze. Um, so I, I do not have two spots behind my, and they're not located behind my lungs. Um, the area that I have is actually, they're, they're in through here. Um, they start up here and kind of go down. Um, but there's a lot of them. They're small, but there's there's so many that they're, they, they almost can't count them. Um, so uh, I, I'd be better off if it was just two spots behind my lung. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, but I do want to go into how I discovered it because the things that actually led up to it could have been signs, but they were just kind of blown, blown off. I could have maybe found this six, seven months ago, eight months ago, and, and I didn't, um, if I just went to the doctor. So... This is what happened. The company I work for gives, uh, they shut down for anywhere from one to three weeks, depending on how the year went uh, around Christmas. So everybody had off. Um, we came back after the new year. And when we came back, we, a lot of people were complaining about the flu, pains in their joints and stuff like that. And I did too, but I don't normally get the flu. I've never had the flu in my life. Uh, so I just figured I had a symptom of it. Um, but everything went away, except my arm kept hurting. Uh, meanwhile, I was a little short of breath, uh, but I was a previous smoker, so I, you know, I just kind of figured that's how it was, you know, I mean, so 
they were giving me some prednisone, and they just figured it was a pinched nerve. I thought it was a pinched nerve, and it wasn't that. Sorry, at that time, it's the only thing I could relate to. Maybe it was something like that, but, but it wasn't. June 15th, I left work. Uh, it was quite humid that day. And uh, when I got outside, I coughed, and there was a little bit of blood. And that's when I thought, I need to see a doctor. So I went to the doctor. They ordered x-rays. I got those done, and they said there was something there. So, of course, we had to do the CAT scan, MRIs, whatever the differences between each one were. Um, by the next week, on the 22nd, the day after Father's Day, I had uh, <clears throat> a lung biopsy done, and it was confirmed as, as cancer. Um, of course, after that, then I had a PET scan to find out if it was anywhere else. Um, and evidently, that's what had been causing my arm pain. My arm pain was that bad. When I was standing up, I was okay. Sitting down, I was a little numb. But laying down for about four or five months, I couldn't sleep. The pain was just excruciating. It would take my breath away just to move. But they did say that once I started getting radiation, that it may go away. And it, it did. It, it, after, about two or three, after like the second week, I, I was like, at most of my, I don't even feel it anymore. So it's definitely related to that. So it's been a rough, <clears throat> it's been a rough two years. July 15th was my first, my first radiation and chemo. Um, I get radiation every day, um, 15 minutes, and I get chemo once a week for three hours. And I'll go on at least until sometime in September, um, the radiation, and then we'll go from there. But, but I could never figure out how to start a video or what to do. Now I had a reason to talk. You know, I'll let you see my good and bad days. We'll see how everything goes. I do know, uh, since I found out, I kind of feel free. Okay, I feel really bad after watching this part. When I said I feel free, you can kind of hear my, the tone go down in my voice. Um, and, and it wasn't intentional. It, I didn't realize I did that until after I actually watched it. Um, my voice just broke up. It, it wasn't because of an emotion. It was literally just because of what I'm going through. Um, uh, and, and it being difficult to talk. I, I wasn't feeling free as far as I'm giving up or I'm ready to, to go home. Uh, it was it was a poor choice of words. When I, when I said that, I meant more of, I, I felt clarity, um, perspective, and the things in life, the things that matter, the things that don't matter. Uh, it, it wasn't anything more than that. And I, I, I felt when I saw that, I thought, that's, that just sounds bad. Um, because that's, that's not how I feel. I mean, I, I just feel, like I say, I just, things just mean different things now. I have a good luck. I look on things real good. Actually, I'm optimistic. I, I, I'm not, I'm not really worried. Um, the hardest part for me was, well, I'll say that for another video. Not for any other reason than just uh, I think it deserves its own video. <coughs> uh, my July 30th chemo was, uh, we postponed that because I had a, a port installed later on. Talk about all the different things that they've done. And that's what kind of made me go ahead and be ready to do this. I guess I shouldn't touch the table because I had the camera <laughs> on, the, on, the, <laughs> on the table. My first time doing this. Please bear with me. Um, I'd like to talk to people. I like to let them know that they're not alone. Just hit the like button and the subscribe. Just so it's seen by other people. If it's out there and other people would see it. You know, maybe the people that need to find it can find it a lot easier. So that's, that's all I'm asking. Um, this is my first video. Thank you. Thought I'd take a quick minute to get back on real quick, just to kind of show how quick things move. Um. I just ate. And then it just kind of comes over you. Yeah? You know, it's nice when people ask how you're doing. But, you know, I was never a big person when people would be doing stuff or something going in their life. They had someone die in their family or something happens. I cared, but I wouldn't ask how they were doing because sometimes people just need that break in their mind to themselves to be able to 
just escape for a little bit. Um, people, I figure there's enough people asking them and bringing it back up to the foreground of their, of their thoughts. And sometimes they just want to break from it. They want to get lost in their thoughts. They don't want to think about it for a little bit, just to stay sane. But it is nice to have people ask. But it kind of makes things hit home a little more. And now, especially when they ask exactly what type it is, you got to tell them that it's the more aggressive. You know, people beat numbers all the time, statistically. But the numbers are still there, and they have those numbers based on facts. People that make it and don't make it. So when you have to tell someone you have a 10% chance to make it the next five years. Your day changes pretty quick. That's why it's hard. You know, it just... You know, I cut out a lot of stuff. I try to put it back in, just so, just the reality of it, but... You know, I can't be coughing and everything else in the whole video, so I have to cut that out so the video makes some sense. But... It's not the reality of the video, just like with anybody's videos. Um, but I do show it so you know what the effort is that goes into it. Um, I was actually done filming. I wasn't going to film any more today, but I could an edit to see what I could do with it. See if anything was, I don't know, if it's even in focus yet. If I could, I don't know. But uh, I got a text from my sisters. I was answering and just, just kind of hits home. So, 